Okay, today I want to go over the components to install a meter in an electrical service. Hi, my name is Craig Mashad and I am the electrical instructor. Today we're going to go over the components of an electrical service. In previous videos, we have built a weather head for a 200 amp service. Whether you're doing a 100 amp or a 200 amp service, you know, components are the same. Depending on the state that you live in, you may be required to use what we call a bypass meter instead of just a regular standard meter. So make sure you check your local codes and, and districts to find out if you need one of those or not. So what do we do? Well, we did a, we installed a weather head on a piece of Fora SEU cable. I made the weather head. If you want to watch that video, why don't you click the link above? You can check that out afterwards. So what do we need? When we build a service, we start with the weather head. In the weather head, we wire it. We run the wire, the SEU, down to, you're going to install a rain tight connector. Now, a rain tight connector is a compression connector that threads in. Now, this is for, this is an inch and a quarter rain tight connector for SEU cable. See, you just unscrew it, take it out. You got a little rubber grommet here. You want to make sure you slide this up the cable first. Slide the rubber grommet on. Put the wire and the grommet into the connector. Tighten down the fitting. Okay. You want to make sure it's nice and tight because what you want to do is you want to make sure that that makes a nice watertight seal. Now, something with the rain tight connector, you're going to want to put some what we call duct seal onto the wire and kind of make a cone shape over the top of it. I'll have to show you that in another video. This connects to the hub. And all you have to do is thread it in nice and tight. Okay. It's got four screws and you want to make sure that you have your connector. I don't know if you can see, you're going to want to make sure that this is towards the house. So it's actually going to sit like so. So you have your SCU coming down to your rain tight connector that I just showed you. And then it, your hub is mounted to the four screws. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to want to install what we call an SEU connector. It looks like a Romex connector if you really want to talk about it that way. Uh, your, this connector here, you bring your SEU in, you can make your connection on your meter. So your, connector, your connection goes up, your connector goes in, run your wire through, tighten down your screws, and then you land your wire. Okay, so what you have here is you have a 100 amp meter can. This is what we call a five jaw can. Reason being is, is it has the extra jaw to accept whatever type meter that the power company is going to install. We as the homeowner slash electrician, we own this box. The meter is owned by the power company. When you look at your meter, you're always going to remember there's going to be a larger hole on the top. That's where your hub goes. Then what you're going to do is you're going to mount your hub. You're going to bring your wire in through your rain tight connector. You're always going to make sure that your A phase or your line one is always going to be on the left. You're going to make sure that your red, you're going to make sure that your red wire is going to be line two or the B phase to your meter. When looking at a meter, this here is your line. This is your load. This connects from the power company, the overhead drop. This gets connected to the house. So your panel is connected to here. Wire comes down, goes into the house via sill plate, ties into your panel. Here, your neutral, this is what your grounded conductor gets connected to. So your neutral is going to be connected here. This is not a solid wire. This is broken. Okay, you want to make sure that every one of these four screws are nice and tight. There's little clips on your meter that you have to make sure they're tight. You shouldn't be able to move it at all. Okay. 
See, it's something like this that's very important. You understand where the wires get landed. Understanding the components and the parts is probably one of the biggest things that people get messed up on. Understanding what the components do and where the parts go will make your job that much easier. All right, so here's one of my projects that I have going on. My project, my wire, my wire is coming into my panel via my weather head. And as you can see, my wire is strapped. You're going to want to make sure your wire is strapped within a foot from this box and a foot down from the weather head, and then every 30 inches in between. You're going to want to make sure also that you have a strap within a foot from your box, and you want to make sure it enters into your, your dwelling via sill plate, via sill plate. This is a sill plate. Obviously for this project, we're not gonna put duct seal on it, but when it's completed, we'll put duct seal on it to keep water out of it. So that's it. Now you understand the components of a, an electrical service for a dwelling. I have to give a huge shout out to all my subscribers. You know, we hit a thousand subscribers this week and I, I'm very excited about this. You know, we've got a lot of great things that we're looking to do and everything just takes time. I really appreciate all my subscribers looking out, liking videos, making comments, giving me more ideas on more videos that I can do for you. This is more than just teaching. This is something I really enjoy doing. With that being said, I hope this video helped. If this video helped, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. As always, if you haven't subscribed, I still to this day don't understand why you haven't subscribed, but please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, okay, so you know when I've got new videos uh, being uploaded. I upload videos every Friday. Also, don't forget to email sparkyinstructor at gmail.com to get, to get on the list for the newsletter. My electrical newsletter goes out once a month. Those of you who have sent me emails, thank you very much. You will be getting a newsletter within the next couple weeks. Have a great day and be safe.